Sure, I sure would. So let's get this going. We have to put up our nice graphic, our very expensive graphic that I threw together in a few minutes. So this is our weekly challenge sponsored by VBA Express. That's VBAexpress.com. So thank you for that sponsorship, and let's get right to it. Okay, let me jump to the screen share. Now, can you all see that? I, I hope you can. I don't hear any yes. responses. It's showing up on my screen. Yes. Okay, great. So last week's challenge um, involved uh, form controls. I asked you, how do we enable these mystery grayed out ones? And this has always been a mystery to me until I, I'd say I found out the answer. So um, which that's, I suppose, how mysteries go. But it is sort of weird that they're on there. So uh, we actually had a lot of responses, but we didn't um, have a lot of correct responses. So only two people with correct responses. But let's uh, talk about now how to enable them. So I'm going to, uh, I have this uh, real quick demonstration here. Um, you can enable them by inserting this MS Excel 5.0 dialog. And I know I've written it out, but I'm actually just going to go the extra step and show you how to do it because, you know, this, this is one of those things where a picture is worth a thousand words. So let's screen share that. Okay, so here I've actually have it enabled, but I'm just going to show you how to start from scratch. If I go to, um, if I right click on a sheet down here and I go to insert, you see this MS Excel 5.0 dialog. And here you go. This is, I suppose it's the old dialog system. Perhaps our special guest could actually tell me what this is for. But if you run the dialog, you can see that this is really one of the, I think it was one of the initial uh, bare bones user forms. Uh, but it definitely existed before I got into Excel. And I kind of like how it looks. So one of the cool <laughs> things about this is that you can actually uh, use the sheet to, uh, Si to mess with the size and the shape of this dialog form. And of course, if I go up here, you see these form controls are enabled. So for some reason, they work on here. They don't work on the sheet. So that is, um, I suppose, one of the relics in, uh, that is still in Excel. I kind of think it's cool. I wish I used it more. But I'm sort of afraid that Microsoft is going to get rid of it at any moment. And I would not be surprised if that happens. So you probably shouldn't use it. All right. So uh, thanks to this week's winner. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I try to pronounce that, the name, but I probably won't do it right. So, so thank you very much. And you win. It was a surprise. You win. Shandu graciously donated um, his VLOOKUP book and um, access to uh, one of his classes, So, our, uh, some of his training materials. So I will hook up with you and tell you how you can get that prize. So thank you very much. OK. So here's cool. so, so where, where, did, where did he find us, Jordan? Where, where did he find us? Oh. Yes, well, he found us at the challenge at ExcelTVShow.com, and I'll get to that. So that's very important. We have this great new email address, so we're entering the Internet age, so you no longer have to send us uh, messages by Telegram, which we got several. I don't, I don't really know why it's one of them sang, but... <laughs> it, was a little, it was a little awkward. It was really awkward. Okay, so this is actually a question um, inspired by our guest because he uh, showed us this. I, I was at, at an um, uh, Excel user group. Um, where he talked about this. So in Power Pivot, you have the data analysis expression. So those are the ones that Power Pivot uses. And those are functions similar um, to the ones that you see in Excel. So like sum and um, max and min. But there's one function that does the same thing as an Excel counterpart, but it goes by a different name. And I say one, but actually there may be more, because I'm not an expert. But I can think of one specifically. So if you think of another one, we'll take that too. But I have one in mind. Um, and if you think you know the answer to this week's challenge, you can tell it to the troll under the bridge, then grab his gold and level up to become a number seven wizard and save the day. Or, or, and don't, we actually, we're not taking silly, singing telegrams anymore. You can, you can email us at uh, challenge at excelltvshow.com. We do check that. You can post your answers to the vbaexpress.com forum and we'll have the uh, forum post up for this Tomorrow, you can post in our LinkedIn group, which now has 38 members. You could be 39. Um, if you become 39, you <laughs> you get our admiration. Or you can post in the YouTube comments. Uh, we don't see a whole lot of people do that, but remember that's still available. And of course, Facebook will have this question on it, as well as our Twitter. Not sure you can answer this in less than 160 characters, but I dare you to try. So go ahead and do that if you feel like it. And remember to follow us, tweet us, and join our groups and take part. So that is what I have. Right. And I will jump back. Thanks again to VBAExpress.com 
for their sponsorship, and I will hand it off to you. So, so, so Jordan, what does the uh, what does the winner of this week's challenge win? Oh yes, they they win a special uh, copy, a signed copy of a book that says Bill Jelen on it, but he might not necessarily have written it. So he actually may have taken the cover of another book and placed it on, but it will be signed. So don't blame us if you get Pride and Prejudice or Dostoevsky <laughs> work with his name on it. Um, it's it's one, of the 40, <laughs> one of the 42. Right, right. <laughs> that, that he may have allegedly written. <laughs> nice. Exactly. Hi, and thank you for watching our weekly challenge on Excel TV. Uh, you can leave your comments or any questions you might have or your possible answers on any of our social accounts or just in the comments section down below. You can also visit our friends over at bbaexpress.com. Over in the forum section, they have a place where you, can, uh, where you can respond to the challenge there as well. And that's a great place to go if you have any questions around BBA, uh, Visual Basic, or just anything around that. It's a great place to go. What we do is we take our weekly episode, which could be an hour long, and we separate that into uh, videos like this for the challenge, as well as a video for the interviews or anything of that nature. So we end up putting out roughly around 20 or so Excel-related videos a month. I say that to say I'd like, you to go, I'd like to invite you to go ahead and subscribe uh, so that these come to your inbox or come to your YouTube account on a regular basis. So thank you for watching, and until next time, Thank you for watching Excel TV.